The points A, B, C have these coordinates. Show that the vector AC is given by this. Show that the acute angle ACB is given by this. Find a vector equation of the line AC. And the point D has these coordinates. It is given that AC and BD intersect. Find the value of P and show that ABCD is a rhombus and state the length of each of its sides. Okay, so let's have a look at this then. Here's the question in summary form. So A part one then. So AC as a vector then is equal to uh, C minus A then, eight minus three is five. Minus four, take away one is minus five. And minus six, take away minus six is plus six. That will be zero then. A five is common as a multiple, isn't it? That would be one minus one naught. So that's what we wanted. And we can see that N needs to be five. <clears throat> Part two, show that the angle ACP is given by this. So part two, ACB. So for ACB, there's AC and B. Suppose that's A, suppose that's B. Uh, ACB, well, I'll get it right in a minute. This would be C and this would be B, wouldn't it? ACB, and we want this angle in here. So we've got the vector AC, haven't we? And we need the vector CB. Let's see what we get here. Okay, from C to B. From C to B, 5 minus 8 is minus 3. So I'll just do that entry first. Minus 3. C to B. C to B, 5 minus 8. Minus 2 minus minus 4 is plus 4. So we end up with 2. And C to B in the last entry, C to B, naught minus minus 6 is 6. So the dot product now then, A, C, dot C, B, and we'll get the angle here, theta. Uh, hopefully A, C to C, B. A, C is that direction. And CB is that direction. So it's going to be probably this angle here, isn't it? This is theta. Um, and we don't know if it's acute or obtuse, but we'll find that out. So I'll drop the sign of its negative and then get alpha. So here then, AC times CB dot product. So AC times CB, 5 times minus 3 is minus 15 dot product. Minus 5 times 2 is minus 10. And then 0 times 6 is 0. 5 times minus 3 is minus 15. Minus 5 times 2 is minus 10. And 0 times 6 is 0. That's minus 25. Now the modulus, so it is negative. Uh, so the modulus of AC now, yes, we'll need that. So it's this squared, this squared, and this squared all added together. 25, 25 is 50. So it's root 50. The modulus of a uh, CB. CB modulus. Use Pythag again. 9, 4, and 36. 36 and 4 is 40, and 9 is 49. So, um, we're going to drop the minus and we'll use alpha here, the acute angle. So, 25, well, we'll keep the minus in. Minus 25, the dot product is equal to this times this, 7 root 50 times uh, cosine theta. Cosine theta then will equal minus 25 over 7 root 50, there's a root 25 here, which is 5, so that's 35, root 2, it looks like to me. Uh, 25, root 25 is 5, 7, 5 are 
uh, 35, so 35, and there's a still a root 2 there, isn't there? So that implies then that cos alpha, drop the negative, is 25 over 35 uh, root 2, which equals 5 over 7 root 2, which equals 5 root 2 over 14. So that tells us what alpha is then, shift cos, 5 root 2 over 14. That's the acute angle between the two vectors, which is what we wanted to show. Find a vector of the equation of the line AC. So we've got the direction. We know the vector of A is 3, 1, minus 6. So this is B now. The equation of the line AC, wasn't it, is A, which is 3, 1, minus 6. plus lambda times the direction AC, which we know just above, is 5 minus 5 naught. But we can write 1 minus 1 naught, because it's just a scalar multiple of that direction, isn't it? So there's the line AC, B. D, D uh, is this coordinate. Lines AC and BD intersect. So we've got AC, we need line BD line uh, B D uh, R is equal to um, what have we got then B the coordinate of B is 5 minus 2 no let's put it down 5 minus 2 and 0 plus mu times the direction of B to D. So D minus B then, let's have a look at it. 6 minus 8 is minus 2. Minus 1 minus minus 4 is plus 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. And we've got uh, B D. Oh, hang on. Oh, have I done here? No, I'm doing B D, aren't I? So that's not correct. It helps to get the right vectors, doesn't it? We're doing B to D. Let me just double check that to make sure we're all okay. Line B, D, yeah. Okay. B to D, 6 minus 5 is 1. And then minus 1, minus minus 2 is plus 2. 2 take 1 is 1. And B to D, P minus 0 is P. 1, 1, P. Okay, now I'm going to just put that down below now. Now I've worked it out, 1, 1, P. Put it in here. So these two lines, uh, AC, is this, line BD is this. So we've got the point of intersection now, haven't we? So I'll put it over here to save some space. 3 plus lambda is equal to... 5 plus mu, and then the, um, the next one, 1 minus lambda, which is convenient, is equal to minus 2 plus mu. These are the first two. Add them, and then the lambdas will cancel each other out, won't they, on the left? 4, 5 minus 2 is 3, and 2 mu's. So that tells us what mu is. 2 mu is equal to 4 minus 3. And so mu is equal to 1 over 2, isn't it? Mu is a half. Okay, so mu is a half. And in that case, what does lambda equal? We can see it here. It will be 2 plus mu. Lambda. I take the 3 to minus 3, 2 plus mu, mu is a half, so lambda is 2 and a half. So there's lambda as well. Okay, so we know, so over here now, we know that minus 6 is equal to uh, p times mu. Mu is a half, so 
uh, p move the half up the two up to be with a minus six p is minus twelve so there's our workings for p equals minus twelve so we find the value of p then in part one show that a b c d is a rhombus and state the value of each of its coordinates so here's the points so I'm just going to take these down right because we're going to work with these and d is 6 minus 1p so we'll write that down as well we need to show this as a rhombus okay so this is part two and d let's just go and get that because i've forgotten it now d is 6 minus 1p 6 minus 1 minus 12 um, now a b this side here is equal to a b uh, the modulus 2 is the difference so that's 4 the difference here is 3 so that would be 9 and the difference here is 6 so that's 36 36 and 4 is 40 49 is 7 uh, a b a so that's side a b a uh, D, let's work that one out. AD is row of 3 and 6, difference is 3, so that would be 9. 1 and minus 1 is difference of 2, so that would be 4. And minus 6 to minus 12 is a difference of 6, so that would be 36. 49, so it's 7. So side AB equals AD. Right, now we'll do um, BC. Well, I'm just going to do them all actually. Because that's the, I'm running out of room here, so I'll just do them all. So, uh, AB, BC now. We need to show all the sides are the same. BC, 5 to 8 is 3, so that would be 9. Minus 2 to minus 4 is a difference of 2, so that would be 4. And 0 to minus 6 is a difference of 6, so that would be 36. And the last one, AB, BC, CD. It's the next one, and then DA or AD. So C to D. 6 to 8 is 2, 4. Um, and then minus 4 to minus 1 is a difference of 3, so that's 9. And then minus 6 to minus 12 is a difference of 6, so that's 36, so that's equal to 7. Uh, all sides are equal. And alpha above is acute. So a rhombus is formed. So A, B, C, D forms a rhombus. So there's a comment for the part here for part 2 in B.